Yo, what's up YouTube? It is early in the morning. I wanted to make some content, so I did something a little bit reckless last night, and I slept without my do-rag or wave cap or bonnet or whichever one, uh, whatever stage y'all may be at right now with your hair growth. And boy, I fizz up my braids, bro. So, clearly right now my hair is dry, all right? So I just wanted to go over a little step-by-step, -step, really quick, low maintenance. Y'all know how I am. Y'all know I don't do none of that excessive stuff. Y'all know I don't do high-cost stuff, all right? This is one people who may be trying out, you know, maybe dreads, um, maybe who may have braids and everything. Y'all may be worried like, oh, what if my stuff starts bending and then I'm going to have to take it out? No, you don't, man. No, you don't, all right? I got an easy way of fixing these things so y'all can go back looking like it's crisp. Every time people see my braids, they say it's crisp. They say, oh, man, oh, man, you just got them things put in? No, I didn't. All right. As you can see, my stuff is hooking. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, first things first, my hair is currently dry, correct? Yes. All right. So I use... All right, y'all know I like to use Cantu and everything else like that, but you at a certain point, you do need to oil your hair, man. So you can either use Jamaican castor oil or you can use, you know, the mango, mango and lime uh, island oil seed. You know, anything that says, um, I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but it says uh, no buildup, you know, because you want to reduce buildup, but you also want something that will strengthen your roots and nourish your hair and your scalp and everything else like that. And I also use the no more itch... Uh, no more itch grow spray, which I don't believe it helps your hair grow, but it's non-greasy, which is true. All right. So you want something that's non-greasy, something that's not going to cause buildup, something that's not going to, you know, really gunk up your head. So it's hard to, you know, really go through the day by day without touching it and all this little black stuff is coming off and all these other things. You don't want none of that. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to spray some of this on in my hair. And this side, as you can see, this side is really bent up, all right? And if y'all growing y'all hair out and this is the type of hairstyle y'all interested in, you know, something that, you know, hangs off your head, you know, maybe some plaits or some two strand twists or uh, some dreads or something like that, this process still applies to you, you know? You can still do this, all right? Because sometimes your dreads and everything gets bent, okay? Um, so this is basically how to fix that. So, applying this on, ah, it feels amazing actually. When it says no more itch, I don't know what that sensation is, but it kind of feels cool, you know what I mean? Like, it feels cool. And it, what, what's happening right now is it's moistening up my hair, allowing it to have a little bit of weight so it can just hang a little bit. As you can see, I can pull it out some and it's gonna straighten up just a little bit. You see how it's already starting to come out? Do not apply this directly onto your scalp. Don't do that. I don't give a fuck what oil it is. Do not apply it directly onto your scalp. Put a little couple drops in your hand like this. You see that? Just a couple. All right. This is still oil at the end of the day, y'all. You're going to take it, put it on both hands, and fluff. Fluff that. Make sure you're touching your scalp. But do not just start. You know, if you had cornrows, then maybe. But don't just apply it directly onto your scalp. And I'm telling y'all, these are tips for if, you know, when y'all are growing your hair out and y'all get to this stage, which it don't take long to get to this stage, you know what I mean? This is the this is easy. But don't just lob it on there, bro. Just, just be nice and easy with it. Nice and easy. Bam. That's my last application, too. I suggest two applications. That's it. And use whatever grease is left over in your hand. And then just push it around in your head. Let me show y'all. Okay. So now, and I don't suggest do this every day. Don't oil it like this every day. Maybe two to three times a week at maximum. At maximum. All right, here we go. So now that I have that done, wave cap. If you still have your wave cap from when your hair was short, great. Hold on to it because you're still going to need it from when you, get, when you got braids because, you know, and I don't suggest sleeping in this. Maybe have it on before you go to bed for maybe like 20 minutes just to straighten your hair back out because it doesn't take long to straighten your hair back out. And you're just going to take this, put it on the center of your head, 
and use your fingers. And you see how I'm pushing those down? Whichever side is fizzucked, you want to push those down, move these over to the side, bam. And the back is straight. It's mainly this side. So I want to take my hand, run it in there, and I'm going to grab these and I'm just going to pull them down. I'm going to pull them down and I'm going to lower the do-rag just a little bit, I mean the uh, wave cap just a little bit while I'm pulling it down so y'all can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, I've pulled these down so they're tight on my scalp. If I need to fix it, place your hand right here and then raise up over your finger. You see how I did that? And now I'm pulling them down so they'll be as long, so they'll look as long and as full as possible. Because that's what people mainly want. They want people to see their length. They want these things to hang, ready to be dreads or braids or whatever. And I'm going to pull these out as far as they can go, but not too tight. So I'm yanking on the braid. All right. And I'm just going to come down with it like a flat iron, basically. Ah, like that. I want to straighten them up, though. So I'm just going to see how that works. Mm, excuse me, y'all. My hair is pretty long, though, so it's not like I'm going to pull this over my eyes. So the tips have to curl past a certain point. And this is how I do it. And maybe there's a different method that I need to explore when my hair starts to get longer. But um, this is what's been keeping my hair straight. So now that I got it at this part, no, I'm moving a little bit slow, y'all. It's early in the morning. I take a leave-in conditioner. You can also take a bottle of water, but I don't re recommend mixing oil and water. And I spray it over top, just a light little mist, over top of the wave cap. Why do I do that? I do that so it can loosen up one and it can bend the hair back how I want it. So now that the hair is wet, er, and this is so the braids while wet don't move, which is perfect for me. So now I can slick them down and move them about how I want to, all right? And then finally, of course, y'all, y'all boys know I had to do it, the do-rag. And I tie it right over top of the braids. You can put the tie closer to this side if you want to press them down. And that's how I do it, bam. And after about a good couple minutes to an hour or so, of these things being pressed, they're all ready to go. If I take it off now, uh, it's you know gonna be is what it is. We'll see. Let me uh, give it a couple minutes. Let's see what happens. So after about two minutes, y'all, it's only been about two minutes. I chose to take it off, and as you can see, right here, bam, my hair is already pressed back down. Now I probably could have got some of these a little bit more flush had I left it on a little bit longer. But that's the video, y'all. Y'all see that it's it's good. No buildup, no oils, no none of that. You see, it's dried up now. It's, it's how I want it. This thing's a little bit hooking, but again, if I had left it on longer, it'd have been straighter. But look, y'all, that's the video. I hope I, you know, showed y'all a little bit something. I hope I encourage y'all to leave y'all hairstyles in a little bit longer or to get some hairstyles that you were probably a little bit skeptical about because you didn't want to deal with it. But as you can see, man, just apply stuff on, wait two minutes, bam. You're ready to go on to your day. So that's the video, y'all. Look at it. It's hydrated. It's healthy. It's ready for the week. So no more stuff need to be done to it besides the do-rag. I hope I showed y'all something. Peace out, man. And uh, get ready for the next video. Go watch some of my old videos. If I start streaming, if I choose to stream, hey, check that out. And send a friend request. Come game with me, man. Peace. Love y'all.